Greetings gentlemen and ladies, in today's video we're going to create Jiggly Physics. Uh, this is for Daz characters in particular, but it could also work as long as your character has weight painted to a um, pectoral area. Weight painting for which Daz characters do have by default. So let's open up our physics asset that we get when we do Daz to Unreal import. And I'm going to show you how to set this up painlessly because it can be painful. I spent about three hours doing this the hard way. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to look for our left and right right pectoral bone. That's this and this. These are white painted to the um, jiggly region. And so what we'll do is we will find, we can go over here and we can show all bones and we can just go for left pectoral, right pectoral. I'm going to start with left like so. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a shape, right click, add shape and find a sphere. And then we can just kind of uh, roughly uh, move that uh, sphere into the uh, right uh, location. I'm just going to switch to top view. I'm going to switch to uh, wireframe. And uh, I'm going to move that sphere, sphere. I'm going to move this circle into the right spot, give or take. Uh, I don't know if size of the sphere matters. I don't think it does, but I might be wrong. It may have some may matter in regards to collision but it may not matter in regards to how like heavy it is or whatever. So I'm just going to like do that like so. That's okay. I'll do that for now. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller so it's kind of out of the way. Um, okay, fine. Now let us also uh, click on our newly created shape, which is this little green icon represented one. We'll right click and we will go to constraints and we will go to choose the upper chest upper as our constraint. Uh, incidentally, let's click that again, our little um, jiggly shape here. And you're going to want to also change the physics type to simulated. So I don't forget to tell you guys later, it's physics type to simulated. Uh, that will make sure it's that particular shape is always simulated. If you don't want it always simulated, well, you might not have it then. But um, yeah, there we go. Default state simulated. So let us now click upon, so in order to find our constraint, we can click on our shape that we created, and then we can find our constraint down here and just click on that. And let's make sure your little magnets are on. This is an easier way to position your shapes into symmetrical place. This is the part that absolutely destroyed me, getting this to align. I don't understand the difference, but I know little magnet good, little other thing bad. So magnets on zero 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 good uh, what we'll do first is we'll just actually set the uh, configuration of this so limit 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 for the linear limit and the limit is five now this affects how far the jiggly bit can jiggle if you want more or less you can adjust that number just play around I'll show you how to simulate physics in a minute if you don't know already um, let's see here. We'll also scroll down to scroll down to the angular limits and we'll go lock 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 lock. We'll put those all to locked. Oh, and we also very important need to change the restitution just back up here a bit to 0.1. This uh, determines how springy the jiggly bits are, how good they spring back into place versus gravity. So springier is a higher number, less springy is a lower number or the other way around. I forget. You can play around with that. So now let's scroll down to linear motor. This um, basically does something too. It um, maybe this is the bit that springs them back up. One of those two things springs the thing back up. Maybe they both do it together. I'm not sure. But do these settings and you will be fine. Then you can tweak around and play with whatever you want to play with and and see what things actually do. Uh, okay, so let us now get our chest constraint into a good position because position of that chest, chest constraint very much matters. I'm going to switch over into perspective mode for this, and that's okay because we're going to be using grid snap. Now, I've got my grid snap to 5. This works for me. You might change it down to 1 if you want to be more precise. Uh, what we're going to do here is hold down the left or whatever. Hold down either control key for movement or else the grid snap doesn't seem to do its thing and I'm just going to grid snap exi oh, grid snap to the forward part roughly and then grid snap to the left part roughly so I'm kind of centered in the um, jiggly region 
Uh, now what I'm going to do is the same thing on the other side. I will look for the right pectoral. I will go to add shape. I will go to add sphere. Uh, and you know what? I think I can easily, yeah, 0 0.79. I can actually easily match the size there. 0 0.75. Let's go 0 dot. 0 0.7, whatever, 0 0.70. Wait, does that match this? No, that might not do anything. Okay, don't do what I did. Let's just manually size it down. Maybe there's a better way to size this stuff. But again, I don't think size matters. I don't think size matters. I might be wrong. But let's kind of get that roughly into place. So at least we know what it belongs to. Maybe size matters. Maybe it doesn't. Let's find out. We'll leave one a little bigger and one a little smaller for now. And we'll, we'll, we'll do a little test after this. Um, okay, roughly okay. So next we're going to go <clears throat> and we're going to make sure our thing is selected here. And then under graph, we can right click on our body that is selected here. And we can go to uh, add another constraint. And the constraint will again be to the, uh, I can never find it, chest upper. There it is. Again to the chest upper. Now, let us first start by putting this into place exactly on this other side everything's zeroed out over here so i'm just going to hold down control and snap 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 and snap 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 so i know i'm in the right place on either side symmetry is important symmetry kicked my ass for like three hours uh anyway so even on both sides so what i'm going to actually do now is i'm going to click this one to highlight this down here and i'm going to click the constraint and i'll just right click it and I will copy the properties of that constraint. And now we're just going to mirror them over to our other one, selecting the body here, clicking down here, and then we can right click and we can paste those properties. Now we don't need to reset the... Uh... Did I break something? I think I might have broken something. Oh, I deleted it is what I did. What did I do here? Well, I'm really confused now. What did I just do? I don't know what I did. Okay, forget what I said about pasting constraint data. Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't. Let's just go do it manually. It's easy anyway. So limited, 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 limited. Five. Restitution, 0 0.1. Uh, locked, locked under angular. Scroll down to linear motor. Tick, 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 tick. 500 and now everything should be uh, basically good to go in order to test this we can select both of our jiggly bits and we can go to simulate selected there we go if you want to also continue to um, quote unquote test hold down control and right click and drag on the body itself it has to be on the physics body not somewhere else or it won't work so can test as much as you want to make sure things are good. It's important to thoroughly test. Actually, yeah, I think that's what the bodies do. They like collide off of each other. Maybe, maybe that's the thing. Uh, did they equally? Let's go. We're gonna check on the right and left. I, like I said, I don't think size matters, but I'm kind of curious now. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.